tall buildings. Please fill in all available space, keeping up with the party in front of you. For your safety, please stay off railings and props within the queue. Thank you. Discover and blast two collectibles to maximize your points. The better the collectible, the higher the point value. Destroy objects to have a vicious six points, which can also help raise your score. Blast the vicious six.
honor to fight alongside you. Allow me to introduce a few of my Autobot lieutenants. My vocally changed comrade here is Reconnaissance and Protection Specialist Bumblebee, as loyal a friend as you shall ever hope to find. If you wish to open an account, make your way to the security office, where your Gringotts identification photo will be taken. Then, go directly to the office at the end of the corridor. From there, you will be escorted to the box. Well, that's all. Move along.
right, y'all. We have closed the park yet again this time. Three days in a row. <laughs> this time a lot earlier. As you can see, the sun is still out. <laughs> because they closed at five for uh, Halloween Horror Nights. So yeah, so now, of course, of course, this one. You know me, I love I love a good escape room. He loves a good escape room. So we found an escape room to do out here in good old Orlando, Florida. So we're about to go do an escape room. We'll see y'all when we get there. We got about 15 minutes until our escape, this guy, until our escape room starts. So we decided to go get us a daiquiri. Fat Tuesdays in the building. So, um, it's so funny because in New Orleans, we just call it like the daiquiri shop, New Orleans original, but they call it Fat Tuesday. This is from New Orleans. But if you like it, I love it. It's like the same thing. No. Well, yeah, so we got we got us uh, some some daiquiris to and on the bright side i'm so sorry <laughs> it just hit me that she was talking <laughs> and on the bright side we can bring these into the escape room like they want us to be messed up yeah so we got us uh, some daiquiris to go here then it's an escape room and you know solve some problems and see if we can escape for an undisclosed amount of time. So it could be five minutes. You have to solve as many as possible. It better not be five minutes. As much as it was, it better not be five minutes. Slick. Uh, so what we chose, we chose the Back to the Future theme room. So uh, I never saw uh, Back to the Future. Have you seen Back to the Future? Oh. Do you know who my brother is? Which one? I got a few. You're uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I mean, I haven't seen Back to the Future. I mean, I've seen bits and clips and stuff here and there, but I've never... Derek, come help your baby brother out. I've never sat down and just watched Back to the Future from beginning to end. So, I won't get any... I probably won't understand any of the references in the room. But it's all gravy in the Navy. Because I got this. That's all that matters. Are you done here? Mm -hmm. Hey man, be clear. In my daddy house, I've been running things here since I was 15. 15? Y'all, y'all just been getting over. Getting over? Hey. I know who didn't get no cut in that night. <laughs> hey, but nah, man, we just got done with the uh, Great Movie Escape, that's what it's called? Sure. Great Universal's Great Movie Escape in yeah. Orlando, Florida. 10s out of 10. Y'all, 10 out Two of 10. Two thumbs up, man. Y'all, if you are ever at Universal City Walk, Please, please, please go to the great movie Escape. Like, there's Jurassic Park and there's Back to the Future. We did Back to the Future for my 90s babies and beyond, like 90s and below 90s. It was really, really fun. Really, really fun. We had, I, I don't know if it was, Probably if I don't will, know if it was the Fat Tuesdays or just. First off, this one. <laughs> We almost didn't get out because this one act like he's slow. <laughs> but no. I said two, he was saying three. What? But anyways. It was, it was a little tricky. It was a little tricky. It was definitely a little At tricky. At times it was a little tricky. Definitely, definitely so. But um yes, yeah, literally ten out of ten. I feel I recommend like any nineties, eighties, seventies babies definitely do the back to the future one. Any millennial kids, Gen Zers, whatever, probably Jurassic Park because they just came out with another one, so it's probably a little bit more relatable. You don't have to get on the floor or anything. Like that. Like, 
every day you, you know just stand up walk regular walk everything is within reach everything was is in within reach you don't have to worry about getting climbing up anything or whatever it can be uh anyways it was really fun we got out with two of us so the average average score, score for that room for that room seven. with a group of six people was seven out of 15. seven out of 15. can y'all guess what we got Third. 13. That looks like 31. Maybe to them it's 31. So that's just 13. Or maybe this is 13 <laughs> to them and 31. <laughs> no, but I, like on a scale of 1 to 15, we scored 13. And it's just, it was just two of us Listen. compared to the average six number of people an average uh their score is uh, about seven to eight eight points so we did really really well if you ever want to do an escape room call us call us because we professionals at this point we escape room pros we, okay we get out of there but y'all this is probably like top two of the escape rooms that we've oh, ever yeah. done ever oh, yeah. okay and we've done quite a few like Literally, it's kind of becoming a thing now. Like wherever we go, we, we find, find an escape, escape room, room yeah. just to see the difference. We started off in Atlanta. Um, the best one we did probably was um, in Charlotte. Charlotte, we were scared. We, that was a scary one. <laughs> it was like the mummy. <laughs> so it's kind of like. And we had a, a few of these ain't before no few. we went. <laughs> we went after brunch, but anyways, that's the side point. <laughs> this is about Universal, okay? If you're ever at Universal City Walk. You go to Islands of Adventure, Universal Studios. Take some time after the park closes or before you go into the park to do the Universal Great Movie Escape. Yeah, it's been about it, an hour. No time at all. Amazing. 10 out of 10 recommend. Oh, yeah. We had a part. No, one more thing. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it for you. But there's not. a part in there that I think whoever was working our room watching us i think they were on the floor dying laughing at me and my antics they probably was cracking up like y'all this one cut up i had a whole concert i'm gonna just say that i'm at a, I had a whole concert not even a whole concert like bro was just in his own world y'all like in his own world but it was so so fun so so, so fun so we yeah. would definitely recommend it Check it out. Great movie escape in Universal Studios, Orlando, Florida. City Walk. City Walk, Universal Studios, Orlando, Florida.